All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up this Dell Latitude Model 3450. So first, what you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the screws from the bottom. We're actually just gonna um, do like the hard drive and RAM and stuff. I'm not gonna do a complete disassembly. So it looks like there's two screws here using a PH or JIS uh, one. So just loosen these screws. Looks like these screws actually stay in place attached to the plate. Once you get those two screws out, you can slide your pry tool or fingernails underneath this plate here. Okay, let's see here. Hopefully this is how it comes apart. It seems like it is, but I'm not 100% sure because I haven't tried opening this model yet. But it looks like once you get underneath here, so here you can see, we're getting this cover off. Okay, just like this. Uh, I don't know if it'll be easier to pry from the center, but let's see here. So we got that side out. We're going to go along this side. Let's see if we can pop it up from here. Hmm. It does have like a little tab here for prying it up. So you can probably use like a small flathead screwdriver or something. I'm going to try with this. Okay. There we go. So it is slowly coming up. Let's try and pry closer to here. There we go. Okay, so these clips that hold it are pretty strong. But hopefully once you get that middle piece out, it looks like it works. You kind of have to flex it so that it bows up like that to pull the sides in. Okay, and there we go. Just like that, it slides out. Okay, so here we go. We got the bottom cover off. Here you can see the hard drive. And it looks like this is where the hard drive connects to the main board. It's already connected. There is two slots for RAM, but only one stick of RAM is in here. And this uses, let's see here, this is PC3L12800S. So this is a DDR3 memory. Okay, if you are to replace it, make sure you get PC3L12800S RAM. And the size doesn't matter, you can get whatever you want. So if they have 8 gig sticks, you can get two 8 gig sticks. If they have 16 gig sticks, you can get 16 gig sticks. But make sure it's PC3L12800S, okay? Wireless card I'm not going to remove because I do that in almost every video. The main purpose of this video is I have to upgrade this to an SSD. So I'm going to be doing that specifically, okay? Um, the... Battery is right here if you want to replace it. There's a Dell, um, the battery model number here is TRHFF. If you can see that, okay. TRHFF, there you go. So that's the battery model. If you want to replace it, there's a screw here, a screw here, and I don't see any other screws under here. But once you remove those screws, you can actually pull up this tab to lift the battery out. And then to put it back, you just push this, make sure this side goes down because the connector is right there. All right, I'm going to leave everything else. Again, if you want to see how to remove these types of connectors, please just watch my other videos. I show it in almost every one. Um, and then the wireless card as well. Okay, so now we're just going to be removing the hard drive. And then we're going to be upgrading it to an SSD. So this uses a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. Um, and yeah, we're going to be putting a 2.5 inch SATA SSD 480 gigs okay all right so just remove the four screws sorry I know the camera's shaking around I can't really do anything about it I need like some different kind of camera setup for this or something but anyways let's remove the four screws here okay All right, keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shapes, and lengths. Okay, and also if you put um, another stick of RAM, you kind of want a matching RAM for the best performance um, increase. You don't want to get mismatch, okay? So once I remove those four screws, we're going to pull the hard drive up. Be careful because the cable runs along there. You don't want to damage it. All right, um, you can disconnect that cable by kind of like wiggling it out, but I'm going to leave that in place. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this connector out just like this, okay? Just like that. So we remove the connector. You can use a pry tool if you want, if you don't have fingernails. And then we're going to take the four screws out of the sides of the hard drive and transfer over this bracket, okay? Just set these four screws aside. Sorry, it's going out of camera. 
Okay. So this bracket is one piece. And make sure that you put the hard drive in the replacement one the same way. This one, the hard drive is dead. It's not reading, so that's why we're replacing it. Okay, remove all of those screws. There we go. So now you can see the connectors this way, so you want it to match up. Okay, drop that old hard drive out. Grab the new hard drive, okay. And then we're just gonna put the screws back in. Okay. Just like this. Oops, I dropped the screw. I'm going to have to find that screw. I accidentally dropped it. Okay. And go ahead and put the rest of the screws. Very simple and straightforward. Okay, I'm going to have to turn the computer over because I didn't see where the screw dropped. Oh, I found it. Okay. Alright, there we go. So tighten those screws all the way. Sorry, it's going out of camera. I left it zoomed in too much. Okay, now that we got all four screws in, make sure you line up the connector the same way. Pull the connector out. Okay. Again, you want to be careful because it is attached right there. And just plug the hard drive back on. Slot this back in, this side down first to get it underneath. And there we go. All right, so now we're gonna put back these four screws. Very straightforward. And that's pretty much all there is. If your computer um, hard drive was working fine, and you're upgrading to an SSD, you actually want to clone your hard drive first to the SSD. If you need help with that, I have a video for that. Um, just uh, mention it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you with a link for how to clone your hard drive. Um, and then if you don't, if your hard drive died and you're just replacing your hard drive, then you wanna reinstall, do a clean install of Windows. You might need another computer to create a bootable Windows USB installer. Um, but yeah, if you need help with that, also just write a comment below and I will get back to you. But hopefully most of you guys will be able to find those videos or already know how to do that. Yeah, but if not, yeah, just get back to me and I'll let you know. All right, so I believe those videos are in my playlist. It's called um, General Computer Repairs. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so we're just going to put this back, and that's pretty much it. So to put this back, you kind of hold the top part up slightly so that it bows outwards, just like before when removing it, okay? And then you can push the sides down while it's kind of flexed up like that. There we go. And this one too. Just like this. Okay, it might be a little bit tricky because it'll keep popping back out as you kind of try and push in the other ones. So just keep trying to flex it like this while holding it. If you have help, you can have someone else help you hold these parts in while you do that. And that should help. And there we go. Snap these back in as well. Okay. Put the screws back in. like that and then we're gonna have to snap in the top part because the top didn't want to go in might have to use the pie tool to do it if it won't go back down but just push on it and hopefully it will snap back down in place go yep this one doesn't want to go in so let's use the pry tool to kind of help push it over and hmm, this one piece doesn't want to go in that one there we go this one the clip is actually going sideways that way so I had to like slide it over this way to get it to go in and there we go oh this side doesn't want to clip back now 
These clips are so tricky. There we go. Okay, so snap it all back in. And there we go. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, like and subscribe. Help others find my videos. Hopefully you'll be able to upgrade your RAM and hard drive. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!